Hi there, students. I'm sure you all know the word former. Somebody who used to be something. In the past, once upon a time they were. The previous person or a previous one. So, for example, um, David Cameron is a former British Prime Minister. Okay, he used to be, he was in the past, but not now. But let me give you a couple of synonyms for this word um, that are really quite good. Okay, the first one is erstwhile. So, Margaret Thatcher is an erstwhile Prime Minister. Once upon a time, she used to be Prime Minister. The erstwhile Soviet Union is now just Russia. Uh, the erstwhile name of Myanmar was Burma. Okay, erstwhile, exactly the same as former. Erstwhile is pretty formal. I wouldn't use erstwhile in a casual conversation. Use this when you're writing something literary or you could use it to for something very formal as well. Okay, now let's try the next synonym. Wylum. Okay, this one's even more unusual. It's probably a bit archaic as well. Archaic, old-fashioned. But Mrs. Thatcher is a Wylum British Prime Minister. My Wylam boss uh, bought me a drink in the pub last night. My ex-boss. Okay, so Wylam, former. The same meaning as erstwhile. Now, I think Wylam is even more formal than erstwhile. I think if you use Wylam, most people won't know what it means and they'll need to go to the dictionary. So this one, in a really, really formal situation, maybe, yeah? But this is a word that is not common and most people don't use. And the last one is quondam. Now, I already made a video about quondam, but quondam means the same as erstwhile, whilom, and former. So, Mrs. Thatcher is a quondam prime minister. Okay, quondam, who once was. Quo, who, dam, I guess in the past. So, erstwhile, whilom, quondam, former meaning previous. So Abraham Lincoln was an erstwhile president of the US. Uh, Mrs. Thatcher is a whilom president of Great Britain. Um, David Cameron is a quondam British Prime Minister. All of them meaning former. Notice as well quondam very formal probably not as extreme as uh, erstwhile or whilom but nearly the same as erstwhile quondam sounds a bit legal as well so let's just look at the origin of these words well erstwhile comes from old english from air which means early in the past and while. So, a while early. Willem is, again, from the word while. It's the dative of it. Okay, dative means the object or the recipient of something. And then quondam, who once was. So, there you go. Some really quite formal words. I'd be careful with all of these words. In an informal conversation, I would just say former. If you've got something literary, I would use erstwhile. If you want to surprise and confuse people, use whilom.
if you want to sound really formal and legal use quondam but they all mean who once was so the UK thinks of its erstwhile glory of Victorian times. He's my whilom friend because he doesn't talk to me anymore. We had an argument. A quondam situation. A situation that once was that no longer is. Yeah? And his former wife, his ex-wife. If you like all of these words, you could just use ex. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Erstwhile, Wylam, Quondam, and Former.